Hello and welcome back for another book talk video for today, Suspense Saturday video. I'm going to talk about the novel Future World. I'm not recommending it as amazing literature, but it is a really unique experience. This book is considered the second book in the Delo series, and the first book was Westworld. I should go ahead and point out, the film for Future World is the sequel to the 1973 film for Westworld. It is very different from the book for Westworld, though. When they made the book for Westworld that went along with the 1973 film, the film was written and directed by Michael Crichton. For whatever reason at the time, he didn't bother changing the screenplay into an actual novel. If you managed to get a hold of one of those old paperbacks, it's a book for the Westworld film, it's really just a screenplay of what was in the movie with some slight changes from when they were filming and editing. But for Future World, there's some shocking things going on. First of all, I looked everywhere I could online to research this. As far as I can tell, Michael Crichton, the brilliant creative mind behind Westworld was not involved in Future World at all. He didn't write or produce or direct the film. His name's not in any of the credits. He didn't do anything with this book that they put out for it, and I don't know why. Clearly, Michael Crichton liked the idea of a theme park that is a horror story using science fiction technology, because after Westworld, we know eventually he created Jurassic Park, and we've got all the series novels from Jurassic Park. So I don't know why he wasn't involved in Future World, and especially because Future World is a continuation of Westworld. But all I can tell you is that he's not. The Future World novel has John Ryder Hall credited as the writer, but as an adapter, because he took the script for the film that was written by Mayo Simon, George Schneck, and William Rossler, and he converted it into a novel. So really, this book is an adaptation from the film, the screenplay, and it's an actual novel for you to read. I've made a video about Westworld with the 1973 film, the book, and season one of the TV series. Then I read this book and I watched the film for Future World and I realized that the people who made the 2016 Westworld TV series, which I've only seen season one of, incorporated not only elements from Westworld, but also a lot of elements from Future World. So if you're a fan of that TV series, you might want to check out this book just because you can see the original source material where some more of the ideas came from because clearly the TV series did a lot more than what was in the original Westworld and some of that's in here I don't want to give you spoilers that really matter for the plot but I suppose I could talk about the book so that you know something about the characters and the plot and what's going on but some of those elements that ended up in the 2016 TV series was the samurai at some point close to the end of season one in the areas where you have the workers and what they're working on for future stuff there were some samurai robots that were fighting each other and then part of the horror is when those samurai robots of course start killing people and they did get the samurai from this because future world is exploring more of the worlds that are part of this delos system you already knew about westworld from westworld and if you read the book for westworld or saw the 1973 film then you knew they also have a kind of medieval dark Dark Ages, castles, kind of fantasy looking area, and they had a kind of spa area that I believe was inspired by the Romans. In this one, they basically just call that spa world. Unlike Westworld, in this story, it's really the story of two news reporters who are going in to investigate the Delos Corporation and what happened as a result from Westworld. Because in Westworld, you know, the robots started killing people, and that was an issue. The idea for this book is the Delos Corporation is saying, we have fixed things, we have a new generation of robots, problem's not going to happen anymore. This story deals with the after effects. When the female reporter was supposed to have an exclusive going behind the scenes and interviewing them, this guy just shows up. But the reason he's there is because he had a source who was trying
trying to tell him about something dangerous going on there and who was killed before he could give the reporter the information. That's the premise at the beginning of the book. And then you've got those two reporters with a lot of tension because they're arguing with each other. Even though it wasn't really shocking, even though it's something that I felt you could easily predict, I liked where they went with the story. If you enjoy Westworld, if you enjoy horror that involves science and technology and robots, then I think that you would enjoy the story and, and just take it in for the simple entertaining ride that it is. It's not necessarily great literature, but it's an entertaining horror read if that's what you're looking for. That's it for today's book talk. Every day is a good day for book talk. Peace.